High on the agenda of the Minister with Responsibility for Hospital Services, Delmer Thomas, is improvement of the human resources at the General Hospital. Cabinet, after our discussion and our deliberation on our way forward with our managers at the hospital, yesterday, Cabinet approved the hiring, the, the service, hiring the service of a urologist and also um, approving the procurement, the, the finances for procuring new equipment for the urology, for urology um, surgery. The minister has pledged to improve the health sector in her new capacity by confronting the issues within the healthcare system that can be addressed at the General Hospital. As part of plans to improve the human resource at the hospital, a pediatrician oncologist has been added to its team of surgeons. This was detailed by Hannah Julianson Paul, acting permanent secretary for hospital services. A pediatric surgeon slash oncologist, so we're getting two in one, yes, to improve and strengthen that department. Dr. Tristan, who is going to be the person um, delivering such service, he would be um, performing surgeries for pediatric cases. Because of COVID, we would have seen a lot of the borders of our regional um, islands has been closed, and that would have affected the access to care. So COVID has taught us that we need to have this sort of specialized service within our country. Persons who also has problems with the urinary tract in, like problems with the urinary tract um, issues, problems with male that have problems with the reproductive organ like prostate cancers and so on, the, he would be addressing some of these cases as well. One of the biggest issues at the hospital for years has been the lengthy wait time for patients scheduled for surgery. The minister agreed that the standby period between the patient's first encounter with the surgeon and the date of surgery is far too long. St. Paul broke down the plans to reduce the waiting time for surgeries. We have also are going to be instituting or recommencing the um, team approach towards surgery. So we would have three surgical teams op operating from the 2nd of November. And that approach would enable us to see a reduction in the waiting time for surgeries. We have all heard the complaints of the length of time that a person has to wait for a surgical procedure at our general hospital from the time they first interact with the public service. And we are putting these measures in place in order to reduce this waiting time. So we are proposing, and we know persons interacting with the public service um, from the time that you interact with the surgeon uh, if you are diagnosed with cancer and need a surgical intervention, you, your waiting time would be between two to one month. Joseph McKee-Smith, GBN News.